I posted up a few rendered photos and videos of this here steering wheel on my Instagram page. And uh, I had a few folks ask me how I set up the lighting, how I rendered this little scene. So uh, I'm going to show you a really quick lighting trick in this video. And uh, you can use this on any model that you're rendering. I'm going to use Eevee here, but uh, you can also do this in cycles. It's just going to work a little bit differently. And if you're interested, if you found this useful and you want me to show you how to do this in cycles, uh, let me know in the comments. I can also make another video on how to do this in cycles, but it's very similar. I've got my Ferrari steering wheel right here in the middle of the scene. And I've got no lights or anything. I have no background. It's just this object right here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my uh, rendered shading. And as you can see, since there's no light source, well, I have a sun somewhere here in the background. I'm going to get rid of that. This is my setup from before, but I moved that aside so I can make a new one and show you guys. But uh, the first thing we're going to add is just a quick uh, sunlight. Okay, I'm going to put that to the side here and just turn it a little bit so it's kind of pointing towards the steering wheel under a bit of an angle. Let's say something like that. And we're going to turn that up to, a, say, let's say two, maybe three, something like that. We don't want to add too much. And this is just a kind of uh, basic environmental lighting, you might say. This is just a very basic colorless lighting. And um, normally when you add a sun, you want to just add a slight uh, color to it, just a little bit of blue, perhaps. And that's going to make it look a little bit more natural. Maybe you can make it a little bit uh, orange, a little bit warm or cold. I'm just going to go with slightly on the blue side, something like that. Just make sure you, uh, you, you just keep a very slight color. You don't want to go too far on the steering wheel because then it's going to start looking unnatural. Uh, we're going to add colors to the other lights that we're going to add in a minute. And uh, so we're going to put that aside right here. And then we're going to add our next light source, which is going to be an area light. And uh, an area light is just a plane, basically, which emits light in a certain direction. So in uh, cycles, this would be the equivalent of adding in a plane and uh, setting the shading settings to uh, emission and then cranking up the emission value. And it's going to look nicer in uh, cycles. But I'm using Eevee here because it's a lot quicker than cycles. And it, it's pretty much the same result. Maybe it's going to look a little nicer in cycles, but uh, uh, to, I'm going to use Eevee for now. And we're going to push this up a little bit. And then we're going to use our 3D cursor in the middle and we're going to rotate it around the x-axis just so it's kind of pointing to the steering wheel from the side right here. Okay. Maybe we'll push a little further back. Uh, maybe we can change the size up a little bit and I'm going to change the power to about 1000. And when I change the power to 1000 watts, you can see that starts, uh, you can see the light here on the side. If it's not, on nothing, there's no light here. And if it's on 1000, you can see that there's a considerable amount of light coming from this side. And maybe we should reduce our sunlight a little bit so we can see the effect of the these other lights better for now. And this light is going to have some color to it. Okay, so we're going to select this light here and we're going to go to color and we're going to turn it to something like a blue. We don't want to go too far on the blue side, but we're going to set it somewhere like one third of the way, uh, one third of the radius on this on the color wheel. And then you can tweak it around. You can set it to whatever you think looks a little nicer, maybe slightly more on the purple side or slightly more uh, on the upper side of the blue color, something like that. It's up to you whether you want a warmer or a colder color. But uh, we're going to leave that here for now. And we're going to duplicate this color, li uh, this uh, light source, and we're going to snap it back into place. But we're going to rotate it around the Z axis by 45 degrees. OK. And we're going to do that a couple of times until we get four of these lights. Now, uh, these lights that we created right now all together are pretty strong. So uh, the easiest way to fix that is to just move them backwards a little bit. OK, so I'm going to press G with all of them selected. And then I'm going to press Z and Z again. Uh, so they all move backwards on their uh, individual Z axes. And it's going to kind of push them backwards a little bit. OK. And uh, one way you can also change the colors quite easily is you select all of them. And then with one selected, this is this one is going to control the colors for all the others. So we select this one here last. And we press Control L and we link the object data. And then when we change the color on this one, it's going to change the color on all the others. As you can see, if we change it to green, all the others jump to green or to red or whatever you want. OK, I'm going to set it back to blue real quick. And then we're going to add in another light source. We have to make another one because we don't want to copy the constraint. We don't want to copy the data from this light on the next one here. We're going to do the same thing as before, just kind of uh, tilt it to the side a little bit. Increase the size. We're going to increase the power to 1000. And this one is going to be our warm color. OK, so this one is going to be something more like an orange or a red color. Something like that, all right? And uh, let's also duplicate that a couple of times and push it all the way around, uh, turn it all the way around uh, the steering wheel, okay? 
So duplicate it once, 45 degrees. Do that one more time, one more time until we have a full circle, uh, eight light sources uh, all around the steering wheel. And now when you look closely, we can uh, disable our, our uh, extras here so we don't see this unnecessary stuff. It already looks a lot cooler here. Now, of course, uh, you, you can take your time and play around with the colors. You can get a much cooler effect if you change uh, some of the colors. Maybe you can make it green if you want. Okay, maybe you can make it a slightly green color. And now it has a totally different vibe and a totally different ambience to it. So uh, just play around with whatever you think looks best for your uh, model. It can be anything at all. Usually I found that it works best if you have uh, one side with warm colors and one side with cold colors. And by warm colors, I mean yellow, red, orange, while the other uh, side might be something like uh, purple or blue or green or something like that. That usually tends to give you the best results. And I usually go for like a, a, a dark blue and a slightly orange red color. I think that gives me the most natural result. And this is what I did over here. So I'm going to disable my extras here so I don't see these light sources here. And uh, I'm just also going to add some kind of a background. So just a quick uh, plane here. I'm going to scale that all the way up. All the way up and then uh, maybe scale it a bit, a bit further and uh, move it below the steering wheel. And then we're going to extrude these uh, edges from the back here and just bevel them real quick. Just to get this kind of smooth transition between them. I'm going to put some smooth shading on that and we're going to... Uh, we're going to make that a, a nice dark color. So this is going to be our background. And now if you go ahead and use your camera on this, you can just go ahead and render it real quick. Uh, whenever I render something, I also like to play with the focus settings of the camera. That also gives you a very, a very nice uh, ability to uh, kind of point out which part of the image you want to focus on better. You know, for instance, if I want to look at this, look at the, this steering wheel from the side a little bit like this, maybe I want to focus on the logo here in the middle. So I'm going to control uh, when I click on the camera, you have a little tab down here with camera settings. Let me just select that really quick. And then uh, you can change the focus distance, which you can also, by the way, set to a particular object. But I just like to manually control the distance. And then uh, you know, you'll know you notice that the distance that you set is, go is going to be very sharp. But everything around it, this is closer, this is further to the back, is going to be blurry. Now you can control the difference in the sharpness of this image by controlling the f-stop here. So the higher the f-stop value here is, uh, there's going to be less uh, blur difference between the closer and the further points. But if it's a lower f-stop value, then uh, the parts uh, at a different distance are going to be very blurry, and the parts that you're focusing on are going to be very sharp. So uh, that's how I rendered some of these uh, uh, some of these photos here, and I hope this helped some of you guys. And uh, let me know what you want to see next.